Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Lola. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No. An original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. 
We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Right.
They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood. 
I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Roger that. supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. some time to fully regain consciousness.
what is left of it. A few hundred people. How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. And never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs>